I gotta say that I was lucky. Growing up, I was able to see medicine at such a young age. Having a father in the medical field allowed me the ability to see what medicine was all about. I still remember when I was 10 years old, my father took me to see my first open heart surgery. And there were little words to describe what I saw that day. It was magical, to be honest. Uh, from that day, it was a pivotal point in my career path because since that day, there's nothing else I can see myself doing. After going to medical school, I was able to see plastic surgery in, in all its beauty. I was able to work with children and adults. I was able to work in the reconstructive arena as well as the aesthetic arena. I was able to see what a plastic surgeon did. I was lucky enough to be one of the chosen few to you know, follow this career path. Um, I think some people you know, feel some sense of insecurities and they come to us um, with open arms and um, with, with ideas about how they feel. And I think it's our responsibility as plastic surgeons to really understand what they're looking for. Uh, things are different today. Uh, we look at plastic surgery based on what we see on TV and I think we've done a disservice to the industry. There used to be relationships between patients and their surgeons. There wasn't this allure of, of you know, cheap and, and um, volume-based plastic surgery and it used to be a status symbol. But nowadays we start seeing things that have cheapened not only the image of plastic surgery but the idea of undergoing uh, a cosmetic procedure. And my approach to my practice and the approach that I take every day with every one of my patients is to build a relationship, get to understand what they're looking for to better their lives. I think, you know, treating people from all walks of life, from the everyday housewife to the celebrity who's going on the red carpet, I think the ability to be in such a cultural center that spans every cultural background gives me an ability to learn every single day. I think the definition of beauty differs among cultures and it changes from time to time. Uh, and I think that's something that we need to take into consideration when we deal with patients on a daily basis. Being at the forefront of cosmetic surgery here in Miami and the ability to travel outside to meet with other pioneers across the globe has really given me a perspective that I am always learning about a new definition and with time things change and I think it's important for us as surgeons to continue to learn and continue to advance um, the technologies and the definitions of beauty. I think the international community here in Miami and the destination that Miami has become in aesthetic plastic surgery is very unique. I think Miami has become a cultural and artistic center uh, for the United States because I think it's brought in the culmination of artistic backgrounds from all over the world. Uh, being in such a beautiful city, I think it has attracted not only South American interest but also European and Asian interest. Uh, one that brings them all together at uh, the end of the year uh, where we're able to see some of the most beautiful art um, from across the globe. Uh, I think Miami has become a center for people uh, who are interested in art. Uh, and that kind of extends into my field uh, because I believe that plastic surgery is a type of art. Uh, attend such beautiful galleries here in Miami, uh, give us a unique perspective on, on how the times change and how art is uh, defined, not only on paper, but also on the human body. So I came to Miami with the idea of building a high-end cosmetic practice to be able to provide a different level of service. I know it's a, it's a great responsibility, but one that I take uh, seriously every day, uh, and that's part of the reason I really try to build a relationship with each of my patients.